Is your clutch bad? Is it going to be expensive? Is it going to be not expensive? Here's a quick and easy way that you can tell uh, by just checking a couple of things. Um, this one came in, we expected to do a nine hour clutch job on it and as it turns out uh, it's not going to be so bad. It's only going to take about an hour and it's going to be about a hundred bucks instead of being about a thousand. So the way that we know is the symptoms themselves. The symptoms on this are when you push down on the pedal it just goes straight to the floor. Now on an Isuzu, which is a pull type diaphragm, that could be a couple of things. It could be that it either pulled out a socket and it's worn out, or it could be that the hydraulic part of it has failed. And so here's how you test to see if it's the hydraulic part, or if it is um, a physical clutch part that requires removing the transmission. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to look under here and pull the cap off of the reservoir of your clutch master cylinder. Now, if you have a hydraulic clutch you'll have a master cylinder for your brakes and it's the big one and then you've got a smaller one that's for the clutch. When you look in there you can see that the fluid's missing. So in this case this is going to be a cheap one and you can double check or verify this by not only the fluid being low here but you can also inspect the hydraulic components. Now you have a master cylinder which is under the hood and then you have a slave cylinder which is on the transmission. Let's see if we can even get into where that is. I'll probably have to get on a creeper for that. But they work a lot like a syringe. Like you, you know you've played with a syringe and squirted people with it or whatever but when you push on the master cylinder that's like a syringe on one end of a hose and the slave cylinder is like a syringe on the other end of the hose. It delivers the pressure from the master to the slave. So when you look under here, in this case the master cylinder is bad as evidenced by all the wetness. So if I follow the pedal, just backing out here, trying to go slow so I don't make people sick, um, you've got the clutch pedal. You follow the clutch pedal up Try to go slow. And so when you push on the clutch pedal, it pushes in this rod right here. See as I push that gently, you see that move? So there's wetness all around that and it's leaking. So as fluid leaks out, air occupies the space where the fluid was and that makes the pedal go all the way to the floor. Now, the the reason why we use a fluid is because fluids are in their most compressed state. They do not compress anymore. They can expand under heat, they can boil, but they do not compress. So once you have air in there, everybody knows that air compresses. That's how the principle of the air compressor works. So for this one, it's going to be a cheap one. So when you look at your car, um, also some things are if your clutch, uh, say you put it in gear and you give it gas and it revs up, especially like on the highway or something, you give it gas or go to pass somebody and the engine just revs but you don't go, that's the expensive kind of clutch. If you go to put it in gear and it goes into gear, you still have pedal pressure but the car just doesn't move or it slips a lot, you can feel a slipping, then that's also an expensive kind of clutch. Um, but you know with this one you know the clutch isn't working it won't go into gear but when you put it in first gear and try to move the vehicle it won't move that means that the clutch is holding well the part that's inside between the engine and the transmission but it's just hard to get it into gear and that's because this uh, hydraulic external part and that's why this is cheaper is because it's external of the transmission this can be serviced just right where it is so Maybe you learned something new. If you like this video, be sure to click thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, click the subscribe button above. Uh, you can add two down arrow favorites and uh, save it to your favorites and watch it or share it with a friend later. YouTube's getting big. It's getting harder and harder to find things, so that's a good option to have to add it to your favorites. Thanks for watching. Love you.